Well, it's finally here. Best open it first. Question is, oh, two seconds. Oh, question is, will this work with all my original Atari 2600 games from back in the day, from when I was a kid? Will it be as compatible as my old 7800? And will it be compatible with this, uh, my Unicart? is 7,800 ROMs and 2,600 ROMs on this and if not is it going to be worth just getting an AV mod done to this and continuing to use this or should we use move on to this you want me to find out right time to open the uh, get this off and have a do the unboxing bit yeah that's what they do in these videos and they're unboxing right it's extra packing without I wonder if it's been damaged due to the badly packed, badly packed box it was in. A Yamagon packer. Nice. Right yeah. I guess we best open it that way so the camera can see. Tori 2600 plus. And there's a thing here to open it by. Oh. Right, voila, and there it is there. Point is all to see, let's pull this off the top. So the other question is, will this be okay using PAL games? Because some people are saying it doesn't on some of the forums I've been on. But uh, there it is there. Ooh, nice buttons. As I say, they're the lovely woody effect across the top there, 1970s look to it. Feels quite light as well. Uh, there's a destruction manual there. What's that say? Number 4. Oh, that's a cartridge. Okay www.atari.com Look at this one, the bottom one. And this will be some cables. And yep, cables in here. Let's make sure the camera can see this. And we'll the cables out here, I suppose. There's the cables in here. Yep, there is the cables. Very short HDMI cable. And, uh, now, my C64, I used a regular power adapter with it and it, went, it didn't work. Well, it worked, but then it blew it and I had to send it back and used the original um, power brick that came with it. So with the uh, this 2600 Plus, can I just use any, if I just use any USB plug in my power plug, is it going to have issues the same as that? I don't know, we'll see. That's the problem when they don't supply you with, a, with an official brick. Is it going to be okay with just any brick? Power brick. Right, I'm just going to put these things back in here. So, if this um, is going to be not going to play my Unicart and things like that, I think I'm just going to send it back as not fit for purpose and keep the 7800 to get it modded. The, the mod on it. The main focus of this is, is it going to be uh, you a bit of hardware that does everything I want it to do but also has the HDMI out on the back for a better picture because at the moment I'm using 
RF on my big huge TV there and it's a bit fuzzy. That's about the best way I can describe it. It's a bit fuzzy. So let's have a look in here. This will be the, the joystick. Place it open there. Oh, there's the game. Included game cartridge. With um, if you look at it there, it's got the different sequences. It's like these buttons on the back, dip switches on the back. It gives us a retro feel, there's no menus or anything. Um, so this is why I think it's not going to work with um, me Unicot. I think they've made it on purpose so yet yeah, you have to it will only work with cartridges, newer cartridges that have been made and classic cartridges, but not one of these where you can just put the ROMs on a on a flash stick like that. You don't know. The other thing I'm wondering is, is, is the, are these um, multi-cart, like uh, flash cart providers, are they going to produce, because if you look at it, there's a, there's a connector there where you can update the flash, are they going to do flash updates to make them compatible with this? Should there's going to be a way to, to hack around whatever they've done to this to try and make people only use original carts in it? So that's another question, is it worth keeping it to see if that happens at some point? Are all these people who make these carts going to do something to get around it? Or maybe it's a third party will do some sort of hack. I think it takes the fact that someone's going to have to get dive deep into the, the Siri that they've used on this to see if there's any way they can do that. Because I really would, instead of using the multi-cart here on my original 7800 with a fuzzy picture or even RF which isn't as good as HDMI, I would rather play them all in here. With full HDMI, full high quality picture. Anyway, that's a question for another time. What else we got here should be the included joystick. Let's see how long this very short cable is meant to be. Because I'm, I'm sitting quite a distance from my TV, so I'm going to need some way to put the console on my table. Can't stretch wires all the way over there. Probably going to have to get a longer HDMI cable for it. Joystick out. And some people have said this is very stiff, so let's give it a go. Oh, that's that's a feel from my childhood. I've not, I've not used one of these in ages. It forces you to be right-handed. The Sears one had a button on two sides, so you could do it like this. Like the Sears clone of the Atari 2600. Just get rebranded one, but uh, yeah. Forces you to be right handed. You do it. The other way you can do it is be like this. I tried that a few times. Some games firing like that. <laughs> yeah, it forces you to be right handed joystick. Okay, let's see how long this short cable is meant to be. Will it, will it stretch? stretch. <laughs> that won't stretch at all. Very short. Okay. So I think what we ought to do now is set this thing up on my big TV and see what's compatible or not. Okay so I've managed to uh, stretch the short HDMI lead they give me from this selector I've got here. HDMI selector like a splitter. So basically what I've got the laptop uh, Xbox and various other things going into um, Amazon's stick and whatever. But anyway, so it's plugged in there and I can just about reach to the table but the very short USB power cable I give us. I've had to use an extension for that so far at the moment. So if I do keep this I'll need to get an extend extended uh, like a USB extension cable just to, so I don't have to get this whole thing out every time I want to use it. Right, time to plug the uh, joystick in. Last time one I remember. Looks like the like original. Yeah, I got rid of my uh, P2600 and traded up to that in the 80s. <laughs> the 7800. And um, I've got one 7800 cartridge to try and get 
try on this. It is Super Huey. Hope you can see that. Um, and here are my other cartridges, 2600 cartridges we have. I'll try these later on the video. Berserk, Centipede, all these are mine from the 80s. Streetcar, or street racer, I mean. Ah, he's a going. Pac Man, look at how aged that is. I got that with my original 2600. Sea Battle, Miniature Golf, Cosmic Art, that was one of my favourite games back in the day. Cosmic Art, Frogger from Parker Brothers, Hubert from Parker Brothers. Some of these wouldn't work on the uh, emulation, sorry, not on the. Um, the ROMs wouldn't work on the 7800, but these would work, original titles. Skyskipper, I forgot what that one's called, Reactor. Crystal Castles, Space Invaders. I had the original Space Invaders cartridge somewhere, but um, I got this as a hand-me-down, just as it had a different label, but I've got the blue label one, the original one from 78, 9. Oh, Sprint Master. There you go, see, need my glasses. Defender 2. I've got the original blue label Defender 1 somewhere. Knight Rider Driver. Haven't got a paddle to use this one. And Combat. Now I think Combat, and some of these are on uh, this. Have a look here. On this, on this. Let's see what's on it. Combat, yeah, that one. And we'll go through all them as well. So, time to point this rat around the tally and give this a go. So, film this bit to me. So, I've got the camera over there, shoot the TV. Make the little logo there, comes off and on. Off, on, that's cool. Right, time to turn the TV over to the HDMI 3. Should automatically select the Atari. Nope, it's not picking it up. There it is. So, the first question is, is that PAL colours? Or is it going to run it? I think that's PAL colours. That's PAL colours. Turn the volume up a bit. There's a button here somewhere for widescreen. Alright. There you go. Widescreen. Stretched. And, uh, first impressions is it looks a lot better than the RF. Okay, well. I'm going to do it stretched. I quite like it stretched. Alexa, turn off lounge. Okay. Even looks good with the uh, 3D wall panels. And the Ambulite TV. So, is that Skyscraper works? Next thing I want to do is go straight to my 7800 game Super Huey. See if that works. Game loading. The other videos I've seen, these games, the 7800 games, take a lot to load. Super Huey with one with a single controller. I might have to take out my um, 7800. That's the thing, will the 7800 controller work? Right? Let's from over here. It's a 7800 controller. Well, um, 
Superhuey's working alright on it, old version of it. Right. Okay. So I think the next big question is where is it? Will the uni cart work? Or multi cart? Right up. Here is the here's the multi cart. Even actually from the tall ridge. I think it's crossed. This is the deal breaker for me. If this works, I'll keep it. Loading game field. Now, one thing I want to try is pulling the uh, SD card out, see if that helps. Seems to be some uh, block on there. So, probably going to send this thing back then. It's not fit for purpose in my eyes. Let's go through some of the others. Cosmic Arc. There it is. One of my favourite games is the one I was a kid. If I don't think these are the moves, some of the pre-production ones were a bit stiffer than these. That seems perfectly normal to me. Back before the asteroid. Right in there. Yay! It's black and white. Let's make it. Yeah, that's black and white. I've got the oh, There you go. <laughs> I was thinking it was getting affected by the the pal thing that some people were talking about, but that's working fine. There is some, there is a bit of a nostalgia playing the games like they originally felt on this controller instead of on some emulator. Even though this is an emulator built into an old case that looks like an Atari. Mm. Mine's still not made up. I just hope they come out with something to make these work because then you can get all the games on it with the original controllers. These will become a rarity for 7,800 games. But they go up in price. Right, next game to try on here is Classic Atari Pac Man. Okay. Now I couldn't play this with a 7800 controller because it was just not responding the way it should, but this feels better. I used 
used to be so good on the skate back in the day, but my controller's not going up when I want it to. It's a problem with the 7,800 controller. See, I want to go right here, but it's lagging. Atari games first. Some One thing that works so far then is the multi cart. The one cart. Games that work so far. And my favourites, the Berserk, the original Berserk. The, the uh, voice one that the new, new release has got on. And it works. I had problems playing this one with the uh, 7800 controller. Will I do any better now? That's hit me hard now, <laughs> so I'm going to have to move on. Six and a half, six and a half, six hundred and thirty hours. Let's move on then, shall we? But yeah, stop hurting me hand. I've got the pole I used to have when I was a kid. Next game, the sea battle. So we've only got one in the not working pile. Quite a few in the working pile. Uh, two more Tauri ones in the uh, Crystal Castles. Good way of testing all the carts and all this. Game mode failed. Sorry, Space Invader should work. This worked on me 7,800. Fine. Put the cart. Leave it. Uh, 
Yeah, could the space be this fail? Space invader is meant to be compatible. Yeah, I can't see. level of these for you. It does look good with HDMI right, I must admit. You won't be able to do that. You won't be able to emulate one of the earliest games. That only saw audio lag or anything. level paid for you. Right, next we have Split Master. Defender 2 Well that works Right I think the last Atari game before we move on to the Parker Brothers ones is going to check off. Yep, working. Interesting little detail here. The earlier Tory cartridges all had these covers on. And the uh, two prongs on here would push them back so that was kind of a way of keeping the uh, contacts free of dust and things but as time moved on they got cheaper and they didn't bother putting them on anymore but I don't think it was Tory that started that first it was third parties like Parker Brothers here who did that to make the carts cheaper you can see the um, other third party one I've got here what were these called? Yeah. Magic, yeah, magic cartridges. These and Parker Brothers were the first to do that then. Atari adopted the practice themselves with their later releases, even the 7800 ones. You can see the uh, contacts of the cart. Let me keep them free of dust. So, even when I've had things like this on the shelf for years, I just had this little cover on to protect the contacts from dust. I didn't have to blow or clean that one out. Same with the Pac-Man one. But these other ones, the cheaper carts that they all moved on to eventually, they're the ones that I've found through use that have the problem of collecting dust. And you see some dust in there that I can't get out. See? It causes them problems to load. So let's keep in mind if you get one of these and start collecting these carts. It doesn't play. If it's one of these ones, it's going to be especially the fact that it needs a bit of a clean. You can get cleaners as far as it's some sort of... Um, use a bit of cotton ball and a bit of... I think it's certain al alcoholic cleaners, like an alcohol cleaner you can use. Be careful which ones you pick though. So I've never done that. Right, so let's move on to the pop of other ones. Just them. Just one of my favourites. Frogger. And that's not working. Just 
Frog are not working. That's a surprise. So please on this. Parker Brothers is Cubert. Keep on feels of Cubert. Keep on feel. Oh, Cubert. Light, but I think it's just not going to light it. Works on here. One last attempt with Cubert. Is this going to be the only other one on this pile? Yep. So, shock horror. It could be that we are sitting in for a little more go. Well, it. So shock over, all right, we have another one on the not working pile. And I'll test this later on this. Make sure it's not just a cot. Right, final original game is Reactor from Parker Brothers. There we go. into the walls. Right. Oh, I think I would go with this. And the other point is video is to try this out in the 7800 as well. So I'm gonna need my glasses to see this. I think I should be first to load. Okay, next one. Second one down is Dodger. Oh. I reckon wide screen uh, normal. I'm starting to like wide screen actually, might be a bit controversial, but I'm starting to like the stretched look. 
I think that's mainly because when I used the uh, emulator through my laptop on the TV, I can't get that. I can only get it in a small part of the screen. On the house to put the screw down. Just looking at my wall tiles change colour with this. That works. I'd be like TV effect on the wall tiles when it's this wide screen. This castle, three point one long down. Four up, three point one long down. That one. It's our command up down. It's a bit of a with the original joystick. It's all the play with the 7800 joystick. One option I'm thinking of is um, sending this back and just getting the. Uh, a new joystick. Well, that works. Not better with this joystick. Volleyball. Up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up. This one is yours, Revenge. Don't up, up, down. Your buddy's Revenge. You'll need some more Revenge. You'll after some more Revenge. Thank you for coming on. Oh, your yeah, so thank you is over. So these are the two that didn't work. All them did. Then put this back on again and show you the difference in picture quality. Still two minds whether I should keep that or send it back. Keep that or Alexa, lounge on. Okay. Get the hundred quid and finish off this decorating over here. Just like that over there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Don't have unlimited amounts of money. Anyway, let's put this on. Alexa, lounge on. Okay. So here's my Atari 7800 right next to the uh, 2600 Plus. Uh, one of the saving graces of the uh, 7800 design over the classic 2600 is the controllers at the front. Dock is at the front, so you actually that stretches out a bit more. Now I'm going to demonstrate because also this has 7800 asteroids built in. 
So I don't need that to put a cartridge in to use it. So we'll press that power button there. And now you've got the the rigmarole of getting RF working on a modern TV. Yeah, you can see how much um, oh, Alexa turn off lounge. Okay. You can see how much more blurry that is. Actually, not bad at the moment. The problem is, I've got a really short RF need because if I get the longer, you get lots of interference on it. This worked in there. It would be. I keep this as this would be a gem, but it's just not working yet. yet. <coughs> this is what we get. We get this. All right. It's a concerto card. So, is there going to be a firmware update? This is my question. Is there going to be a firmware update to make this work with that? Can I just get download something from the from the concerto people? update that cartridge and it'll be compatible with this because if it is you've got all these games to choose from now the problem I've got with this is it's on RF so some of these games in here are, are not PAL try to find one that isn't Pac-Man I think. Yeah the Pac-Man in here is not PAL. So go that way a bit. This is actually working quite good with the 7000. And it might be an idea just to get one to send that back and get one of these controllers for now. So this is working really good. Yeah Space Invaders on here. I think Space Invaders on here. Comes up with the wrong colour specs. comes up with wrong colours because it's not PAL, it's NTSC. See how the colours are off? This is a um, basically a NTSC part running on a uh, on an NTSC bomb running on a 7800 PAL. PAL 7000, see how the colour and I remember space and before the colours weren't like this weather. All off. That's one of the issues we've got with this. Could that solve sort it out? Because at the moment I can use that on here or I could get the RF mod done to it to get a better picture. But still I have an issue playing NTSC ROMs on this TV through the RF. <coughs> and the other benefit of this is you've got all these 7,800 games you can play on it. Like Food Fight, PAL. See how well, that's got PAL on it? You get the same issue with this where if you use an NTSC ROM it won't play through the RF. This is the only game that wouldn't work on there. Official game. Oh, pop the game. Cube it. Oh, this is very stiff after that. In it goes. I 
this is the issue you got with uh, these. You have to go back the channel sometimes. Get the tummy to kick in with the RF. Not finding it. Off. RF on a new TV. There it is. Yeah, it's working on the 7800. Is it going to be easier to control with this controller? Easier to control with this controller. The, the, seven, the original 7800 one I've got there. Give it a sec. Let's give it a sec. Some in our sports. Let's set this up. So, uh, should I keep this or send it back and just get that modded? Because even though this will run all of these games here, it won't run Qbert and it won't run the multicart, the concerto or multicart. Um, now my question is, will they be up doing a firmware update to make this more compatible with that? Or is that just never going to happen because Atari have blocked, done something to this to make sure these never work on it? So is it not even worth considering that? And then, is it worth me just getting one of these? Because I've found that that's a lot better to use than the 7800 controller, especially with these 2600 type, type of games. Um, and then get an ERF mod done on that instead. So I don't have to keep tuning it in when I change a game. Change flicking channels and off and on until it works. That is the question. And um, if I do that, I could spend that 100 quid finishing off the uh, decorating in here. In this room. Instead which is probably a better option. Also, if I keep that, I'm going to have to go through all the ROMs on here and get rid of the ones that are in TSC because obviously they don't work with it. And I've not even been able to test that with that, but it, it does seem to have no problem playing all these PAL cards, so that was a myth that was circulating on the internet before it came out. I wouldn't have thought that Atari would be selling this in this country if it wasn't going to be compatible with PAL cards. The only thing I'd like to try on this now though, is a, is a proper NTSC cart, which I was hoping to do with an NTSC ROM on here, but I never did. So um, if anyone's got an NTSC card, they could, they've got two copies of something in NTSC or something, that's something to be tr um, to send to someone with a PAL one of these, that's something that could be tried on it. Because if that's the case, then you can collect NTSC and PAL original carts and play them on here. I also want to know if anyone's got any issues playing this on it. Like, why would you have issues with that? Hmm. So that's my um, video on this, I suppose. And uh, I'd like to give everyone in UK 50 quid. How to do that? Well, there's a link below to change your energy to Octopus. And if you do that, you'll get 50 quid off your first bill. Other than that, I'd like to say thanks again for um, watching and remember to like and subscribe. See you later.